Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. <clears throat> uh, very quickly I want to give you guys an update. Uh, we have merch available now. Um, I will link it in the description box below. You'll be able to find my information on there um, and how to get uh, merchandise for my YouTube channel. Um, we have backdrops, we have t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and muscle shirts for this crazy ass hot weather. So anyways, on to your reading Virgo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. As you guys can see here, we've already pulled out the cards and we are set to go. So your communication with your communication, um, for the month of for the month of August, Virgo, you have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is definitely talking about some type of betrayal, some type of letdown or hurt. This could be in reference to friends. Uh, this could be someone that was extremely close to you or that you thought was extremely close to you. Um, this is, um, I definitely see some type of, some type of hurt happening for the month of August in reference to feeling betrayed. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, betrayal from a partner or lover. This is more to do with your social circle. Uh, this could be finding out that someone has been speaking bad about you behind your back um, and smiling in your face. This could also represent a very close friend. Again, like I said, that is definitely um, stepping on toes or disrespecting you and you find that out or you see that play out throughout the month of August. Um, always remember, Virgo, that sometimes it's better to see people in their true light than to continue trusting in those that you have not tested their silence. Um, so again, take it for what it is and uh, keep moving forward. Don't allow yourself to be put in a situation where if you have to pick sides, uh, what I mean by this is I do feel like there's going to be some type of misunderstanding or miscommunication happening where you may feel that you're caught in between the crossfire or you may have to choose between a friend and another friend or something like that. Um, definitely, you know, stand your ground and, and don't don't play sides. Uh, let them hash that out or let them deal with whatever it is that they currently are going through whether it's um just not agreeing whatever the situation may be definitely walk away from that as it's not going to help you and again i definitely do see some type of betrayal or hurt more to do in the social scene more to do with friends be careful who you trust your secrets to virgo for the month of august now when it comes to when it comes to your finances uh, with the earth element, you have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups could represent um, a lot of scattered energy in regards to finances, a lot of scattered money. So what I mean by that is overspending, overindulging, uh, maybe not saving as much. My suggestion for the month of August, be very careful what you spend your money on. Uh, do not be, don't, don't be overspending or don't be spending uh, if you haven't put money to the side for your rent, for your car payment, whatever it may be, um, and always try the best you can to put at least a good 20 to $25 on the side um, every week so you can be able to have some money saved up for a rainy day. As we all know, things happen in life and it's better to be prepared than to regret not being prepared. So again, um, be smart about your finances, Virgo. And if you feel, uh, for those of you guys that have your own business or run your own business, if you feel overwhelmed and you feel like you're barely making it or barely keeping your business afloat, do not go off um, borrowing money in regards to like going to um, places where they loan money um, or get some type of like bank loan or something like that. I don't see that... Uh, that I don't see that as a very good outcome for you. And I feel that it's actually going to block you from progression. So try the best you can. Again, it's all to do with balancing, uh, balancing your finances. So be smart about that and do not take on uh, more debts to try to get yourself out of a debt. I hope that makes sense for you guys. But anyways, moving on, um, 
your challenge for the month of August is using your head, Virgo. Uh, it's coming up as the Queen of Swords. This could be, um, uh, this could represent a person that is of an air sign, which would be an Aquarius, um, a Gemini, or a Libra. And this could represent you going, um, not going, but more, more to do with like, maybe this is a person in your family. Maybe this is someone in your surroundings. Uh, this is a very critical person, someone that uh, is very watchful about how you behave or what you do. Uh, could very well be connected to your finances. This could be a mother figure. Um, this could represent a person in general. It doesn't have to be a female. It could be a male as it is a general reading. But uh, this is a person that is very particular with everything that they do. They, they're very methodical in their decisions and they take um, smart analytical steps, always calculated, always, you know, very, they're very methodical is what I'm hearing. And I feel that this person could be very critical of the way you spend money. This could be a person that, um, again, it, if it is your mother figure uh, or your mother or father, if, if they are uh, ruled by air sign, um, this could be them just criticizing you and, and telling you how, you know, careless you're doing um, or spending your money, etc. Try the best you can not to take it as a negative. I feel that the challenge here with the Queen of Swords is to use your head. Don't be very impulsive. Uh, try the best you can to analyze the decisions that you make in life, not just about finances, but also in regards to love, in regards to business, in regards to anything in your life at the moment that you're currently having difficulty with. So again, like I said, try the best you can to use your head. Don't be so emotional. Um, don't get into arguments. If you feel that you are just full of anger and you're just spitting out venom, hold back, walk away from that situation. Don't remain there, you know, continuously because people are going to continuously keep putting wood to the fire and you need to be more smart about that. You need to not allow people to get the best of you. Um, and again, be more methodical in your actions. Um, think about it before deciding or, or taking action with something. Um, more than anything, the Queen of Swords tells you, you know, it's time to mature. It's time to take responsibilities very seriously. Uh, for those of you guys that, again, like I said, do have your own business, uh, the Queen of Swords is someone that is not as emotional. So there is a need for you to not be so emotional or so connected to the business that your end goal is to see it succeed to the point of regardless of who you go through or regardless of the people that you have to get out of your way. You know, sometimes it, it's necessary for us to see things from a clearer perspective. And the only way to do that is to step away, take some time off, take some vacations, whatever it is that you need to do to detach yourself from whatever outcome it is that you're fixated on to be able to breathe and let go of control. And you will, you know, ultimately, re it will ultimately result in being able to be collected and to make decisions with a cold head. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, so anyways, moving along with your emotions, you have the Ace of Cups here. So the Ace of Cups is new beginnings. It could also represent a new connection or someone that you recently linked up with, someone that you're recently interested in, or that you found out that they were interested in you. This could be a water sign. For some of you guys, it could be an air sign as well, um, as I do see air here. So an Aries, sorry, uh, air sign would be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius. Uh, for others, it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And again, I definitely do see... Um, I do see new beginnings here, but you do have the judgment card. So be very careful uh, for those of you guys that have been broken up or separated from your partner. If your partner comes back in August trying to rekindle, trying to reconnect with you, um, be smart about it. You do have the judgment card here, and the judgment card is basically telling you, have you learned your lesson? Uh, or am I going to have to teach you the lesson all over again? 
Um, it's one thing to go through heartache for the first time when it's unexpected and you didn't deserve it. And a completely different thing to choose to go through the same heartbreak and the same lesson that was taught to you the first time around because the second time was yours by choice. So be careful with that. Now, for those of you guys that are single, um, currently dealing with or dating or, or trying to, you know, uh, step into the waters of singlehood <laughs> and the social scene. I definitely do see a new connection coming forward. Again, be very caref uh, careful to leave the door open or to invite or be able to accept an invitation from a person from the past. Learn from your lessons and move on. Okay. Uh, Saturn in Capricorn is a very scary type of placement because it does speak about karma and things that are left undone will come to surface. Doesn't necessarily mean to work things out. It just necessarily means that, you know, you have to disconnect yourself from that past relationship. Uh, let go completely of whatever anger or hurt that you've been clinging on to. Uh, to be able to go into the next phase in your life. So very, very important. As a spiritual advice, the judgment card definitely speaks about endings. It speaks about um, the judgment has already made, the decision has already been made in regards in regards to your love, in regards to, uh, for those of you guys, again, like I said, that recently have split up or walked away from a relationship um, for those of you guys that are single and trying to date or getting to know people, um, the, that cycle of singlehood or that cycle of being in a unhappy relationship is definitely coming to an end. Ultimately, it comes down to you. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready to release? Are you ready to let go and go into the next phase in your life with new opportunities and um, more than anything, give yourself that opportunity. For those of you guys that have gone back with the a person from your past, I feel that there's going to be some things about the past coming back into the present. So what I mean by that is if there was a breakup and you went back with that partner and have been currently, you know, being in that relationship and working in the relationship, I feel that there's going to be a lot of past behavior patterns about your partner that are going to come up and it's going to become an issue again. So ultimately, it comes down to have you learned those lessons and are you ready to go into the next stage of your life uh, dragging that unhappy type of relationship or are you willing to give yourself that opportunity uh, to let go of the past and move forward, opening the door to new opportunities, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.